But see the crystal faces on that? Yeah. So that is an example of what we call a magic stone. And so that will be... Oh, and then this is a very, very tiny piece from... Graphite? Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to do my little bit of dig director job here. And these will be numbers 7800 for the magic stone and 7801 for the paint stone. And what level are you in here, B22? B21 stone. Still B21. Yes. Very good. Okay. Good timing. And um, so he excavated it down. It's dug down into the underlying um, post-glacial sediments. And so we are expanding this unit to go this way to chase the feature, which is one of the things we do. So, and this one we could get a radiocarbon date out of as well because we've got the charcoal. So this is another example of what we do. And we've so far gotten um, 12 of these features this year. So that's one of the things we pursue. Pretty nice. That's a projectile point. That's like around six to 4,000 years old, approximately. That came up yesterday, down there, all the way at the edge. Okay, so this is a sort of a hammer and anvil set. And these were found together. So there's a little bit of wear on this surface here, some contusions, and that would have been used like this. I'm not going to use it because I'll make more. Um, you could have held this in your lap and used this for crushing the paint stones into powder to use in pigment. We are finding some really cool stuff here, so it's very exciting. I'm a history major, so this is, this is really cool. It's like hands-on history. My back hurts and my knees hurt, but every day I come excited to find new things. And it's quite rewarding, and I'm very glad that I have this opportunity with Dr. Hoffman to do yeah, this. that's great. And I've always wanted to do archaeological work when I was younger. I used to watch a lot of Indiana Jones, and uh, I'm sure everyone has. You might hear that from a lot of people here. But this is, uh, yeah, it's really great, and uh, it's mind-boggling to pull something out of the ground. Like, we found a small concentration of charcoal and uh, that charcoal could have been sitting there for you know upwards of two three thousand years so someone had a fire here and left stuff for us to find yeah, so. <laughs> for that. <laughs> well, I came here with, uh, I tried not to get my hopes up. I didn't want to think I was going to find stuff because I could have gone a whole three weeks and found absolutely nothing, but I started to find stuff on the first day and then more on the second day, and it's just, it's really exciting. It's very worth it. Extremely dirty. Uh, you, you sleep really good at night, but it's it's a lot of fun, and it's, it's really cool to be here and be a part of this, find stuff that no one's seen in thousands and thousands of years. It's really cool. I love it.